what we know is that islands represent about 5% of the Earth's surface but support a disproportionate amount of the Earth's biodiversity, about 20% of, of Earth's, uh, all the plants and animals uh, are found on island ecosystems. But historically what we've seen is uh, islands have also hosted about 80% of, of extinctions, about all, all known extinctions, 75 to 80% have occurred on island ecosystems. And today what we see is about 40% of IUCN red listed species are found on islands. We know that we can and do uh, see species and ecosystem recovery after the removal of invasive species, particularly from highlands. Globally, there have been about 1,500 uh, or so successful eradications from islands around the world and has now become a mainstream approach to restoring biodiversity. Arguably one of the worst of the invasives are introduced rodents. They've been introduced onto about 80 to 90 percent of the world's islands or island archipelagos and have been implicated as one of the leading causes of extinction globally. In addition, we know that some of the uh, introduced herbivore, herbivores have the capacity to spread uh, invasive, spl invasive plants such as grasses uh, that create a complete dynamic or a shift in the fire regime on these islands that haven't been seen before. So we as a conservation community have a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do to restore the islands and bring that biodiversity benefiting not only those species from the edge of extinction but also the benefits to people that rely on these islands and these ecosystems.